Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about all of my favorite fall polishes for this year. If you have never seen one of these videos before, I use these um, swatch wheels with like 20 nail tips on them to kind of create like a seasonal swatch inspiration. And this is my one for fall and I am living for it. It is very yellow and green heavy this year. The yellow is such a surprise if you have been following my channel for a while. I'm not usually this like in love with yellow, but for some reason 2020 was my yellow awakening and it has continued into 2021. The first polish here is Static Nails Birthday Cake and it is a really light pink um kind of like um what do I want to say? Like a beige pink. It's really pink. It's really like a whited out pink. I really, really like it, but I think depending on your skin tone, it'll pull a little bit differently. But this is from Static Nails, and I just really, really like this color. I think that and this one's on my toes right now, and I really think that these colors get looked over kind of for fall. They're mostly spring colors, but I think it's really nice to pair like these lighter kind of washed out pinks with some of the kind of fall like typical colors and it's just beautiful. Moving into the yellows, a quarter of my little swatch wheel here is covered in yellows. So the first one that I have here is London Town Lacquer Buttercup. For some reason again just like these lighter colors I've really really been drawn to for some reason and it's just a pale yellow like there's not really any way around that right now. Um, it's just a pale yellow. There's nothing going on with it. I think that it does have like, it looks like silver micro glitter of some sort in it, but I've never seen that on the actual like nail. So I'm not going to say that, but to me, it's just a basic light yellow, pale yellow cream polish. And for some reason it felt just very like, um, like the leaves almost turning. I don't know. It just felt like really cozy for me for some reason this season. So that is the first yellow. Next up I have Dimension Nails Fiddler Crab and this one is a mix between a pale yellow and a mustard. It's not quite mustard. It's really just like, ugh, I don't know. It's really just beautiful. And again, this is not a color that I would normally gravitate towards for myself, but for some reason I just really thought that it was a beautiful yellow and especially for like nail art or something, it's gonna be stunning. But I just, all the yellows that have come out in the past year, I am like all over and I really want them. And this one was no exception when it came out with Dimension Nails Collection. The next two are both from China Glaze and they are very similar. Um, my sister was like, those are the same colors, but they're not the same colors. Okay, so we have China Glaze Autumn's Up, which is one shade darker and a little bit more orange than the Fiddler Crab polish. If you can see, it just has like a little bit more um, depth of that yellowy orange color. And I think that it's stunning. This is one from the new China Lace collection, I believe. I'm pretty sure like the fall collection. And then Mustard the Courage, which was 2019 fall collection. I'm not sure. I wanted this one for so long and I just didn't pick it up because I was like, oh, it's pretty, but it's a yellow. I'm not really sure about it. I, w I just wasn't quite there with the yellows yet, but I picked it up in a head to toe beauty order. Um, I don't know within the last year maybe or so, but they are definitely different. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but they are definitely different. I'll pop up pictures of them because they're just different. I know they're different. I'm not crazy. Um, I feel like Mustard the Courage is the next step from Autumn's Up. It's got a little bit more brown in it and it's a little bit deeper. I think not by much. They're definitely, they're definitely really similar. You probably don't need both. I enjoy having both and I think that they are definitely different enough to have in your collection personally, but you probably don't need both if you're a normal polish loving person. And then finally, one more step into kind of like a orangey brown versus the mustard is Terra Beauty number 10. I think that all of these together just look like a really beautiful Skittle Manny, but um, this one is, like I said, just a hint more grayed out, a little bit deeper, a little more brown. And 
it's just beautiful. I don't know what it is this year and last year about the yellows, but like this whole side of this watch wheel is just stunning. Next up is like a purpley-ish polish. Um, it I put it on two days ago and it was really kind of grayed out. And to be honest, I didn't actually love it. So I might need to wear this again to decide how I feel about it. But this is Zoya Easton. And I have not been loving all of my Zoyas recently. Um, just like color wise, just I haven't been feeling them. But that's a whole separate video or something that I'll talk about. This is Easton and it is a gorgeous color. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's freaking stunning. It looks just, uh, it looks like fall. It's literally just fall in a bottle. And that's why I put it on here. But I feel like for some reason, the bottle versus the swatch um, that I have done is just a, a completely different color. Um, the bottle looks really light and kind of pale. And then the swatch wheel just looks a little bit deeper, a little bit more rich. So I'm not sure. Ooh, either way, I did initially pick it because it is beautiful. And I do remember really enjoying this color years ago when I first got it and I'm trying to pull out some of my older polishes and revisit them but this one might be one in a de-stash soon so yes but it looks nice on the on the false fox wheel. Another Zoya is next this is Zoya Kelly. Now this one goes back and forth between my blues my purples and my grays. I think I've talked about this in other videos before but Kelly is an enigma. She um I can't decide what color she is. I believe I have her in my blues currently, but just a very interesting polish. It's um, kind of like a, a dusty navy um, with like some, some denim-y looks to it. It's very interesting. I have worn this one and I actually do really enjoy this. I think it's a great polish for fall, so I'll probably end up keeping this one even though, like I said, my Zoya's just haven't been my favorite, but this one is absolutely stunning and it's great for fall. Next up is a polish from Ani Michelle and this is for the love of blue. I really, really, really wanted a navy for this season and I have a ton of navy polishes but none of them are quite, quite what I was looking for. I wanted like a, a navy that you knew was a navy but was just like a little darker. So that is what I got when I was looking through my swatch sticks with for the love of blue in the bottle you might be able to see like right there that um kind of shift i don't see that on the nail hardly at all but the actual overall color of this navy is just a stunner so definitely wanted a navy and when i had them all lined up this one stuck out to me the most it's beautiful okay moving into greens greens are um Greens are another one that is taking up a fourth of my kind of choices here. I have five greens to share with you. And once again, I have kind of like a color that's probably typically more for spring. This is Mint No Chip from London Town Lacquer. And to be honest, I mean, I just really have been liking these kind of just like lighter pale, like just a, a breath of lightness. I feel like in the fall, a lot of like warmer kind of... um like deeper jewelry tones come out and sometimes I'm just like oh I would really like kind of like a lighter polish so this one the yellow and the pink from the beginning are kind of like my breath of fresh air polishes for this season and I just think it's so pretty I feel like it is a pretty much exact dupe for Miss Kensington from KL polish if you have that or know about that so if you're interested in that polish which was beautiful I think that um this one is a really good dupe for that. Next up is a green that is a little bit more uh, fall, I would say. This is Moonshine Manny No Tears Left to Cry. This is a Project Dupe It polish for uh, OPI Mermaid Tears, I think. And again, I don't have a lot of OPI. Like, I don't have hardly any that I share anymore. And I'm probably going to get rid of all of them in my next D-Stash. I think I have four left. And I don't purchase from them anymore. So I don't know if this is an actual dupe. But... It's stunning and I love it and I've worn it a handful of times already since I purchased it. It is like just a really kind of muted, like it reminds me of OPI My Dog Sled is a hybrid with like, like the opacity turned down a little bit. Um, it is really, really stunning. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a sea foam 
but make it fall if that makes sense um and i love this polish so much it's just really really pretty next up is another london town they are actually my favorite brand for fall polishes kind of next to chiming glaze i think chiming glaze and london town are my favorites for fall polish and this is london town lacquer sedona i believe i have talked about this in another video at some point i really can't remember but this one is just that true kind of like sage green color um i feel like recently i've seen a lot of sage that's not really sage to me um and this polish is just like the perfect sage color i think i think it's just it's stunning and i love it for fall how many times am i going to say that i love these polishes for fall when it's a fall polish video but i don't know what else to say because they're just beautiful look at them like they're stunning Whew. okay next up is juice cleanse from loud lacquer this is one of the first polishes that i saw on their website that i was interested in i think it's like just enough off from like an army green to where I really, really enjoy the color. Sometimes these kind of olivey greens and like army greens can push to where it's just like, I've seen that before. I have a ton of those I don't need anymore. But this one has something. I'm not sure what the something is, but it has it. And it's just a little different. I think that Sedona and um, the Loud Lacquer Polish come like next to each other are a beautiful freaking mani. I would highly recommend these two for like a Skittle or something like that. But I just, I just like greens right now. And I think that they're kind of big for the season this year. I don't know. I don't follow trends like that, but I'm pretty sure green is a thing this year. And I don't know if it's like, I know green is a trend. Like I've seen people talking about it, I think. And so then I start liking them or if I'm like, oh, I just really enjoy green and everyone else thinks that way and that's how a trend happens. I don't know. Either way, I have a lot of greens and they're all beautiful. Next up is the OG fall polish for me. I think this is the only one I'm looking at my wall. All of my all of these are like up on my wall over here so I can see all the years. They're beautiful. Every fall that I can see, which is one, two, three is <laughs> it has budding romance on it this is the only one i repeat i really try to go through and like not repeat polishes very often but this china glaze if you know you know this is my my baby my business i love this polish for the fall and so it just must be on here it will not be everyone's cup of tea sorry i have hair on me it will not be everyone's cup of tea it just it just won't be it's a baby poop green disgustingness um, but I think people are coming around to it. I think people are enjoying the green, um, the green of this. I think people are, are coming around and I'm glad that they're here. All right. We are moving right along. We have five or six more left. Um, next up is yet another London town. This is Beaumont. Uh, this polish, it, I think I've talked about this in another video. I can't remember what video, but to me, this is like that sophisticated, just really like get your shit together. You got this sophisticated polish. Um, it's more of like a grayish than a brown, I think. I definitely think that it has like those drops of gray that make it look a little bit more grayish versus the brown. But I do keep it over in my brown section just because I think that that's where it belongs. Kind of it doesn't look right in my grays, so I guess I just leave it in browns. If you're looking for something like that, a really nice grayish with a good formula and all of that, I highly recommend Beaumont. It's a stunner. Number 16 on my swatch wheel is Jolie Vegan All Is Well. And this is another kind of color that I feel like I'm coming around to. It's like that off coral terracotta kind of color to me. And when I was picking out polishes for um, them to send over to me in PR, I picked this one not knowing how I was going to feel really about it. Um, but I don't know. I just, I really, really, really do think that it's beautiful. It's a stunning polish. The formula is really nice. And when I was looking at colors again this season, it just felt like these terracotta kind of looks um were something I was really gravitating towards and I also feel like this is one of those colors where it is 
it is like a sophisticated color. It's a color where you're, um, you're like powerful. I feel like back in the nineties, like red, like a lot of like, um, powerful women, strong women on, uh, the TV shows would wear red. And now I kind of feel like it's transitioned into like camels and like, um, beigey nude colors and, and respect to the person. And like the grayish colors I could be completely wrong but that's how I see them and that's how I felt and so I felt like this needed to be on my swatch wheel that was a tangent the color is beautiful that's it the next color in that same vein is Orly Sunkissed if you watched my nail it with me I did a nail it with me with this polish uh when this video goes up it will be last week so it should be fairly recent um and this one, again, I did not think when I first got this in my oily color pass, I was like, whatever, I'm not going to use that. I'll probably put it in a D stash. And I really like it. I think it's really, really pretty. I was going through my browns because I was like, I don't pick brown a lot. Let's go through and see like what in all of my browns I have. And this one is very orangey terracotta. It definitely comes off that way, but it has that kind of like the uh, dusty-ish brown tone and that's why I put it into my browns but I kept coming back to it like I would put it up and I'd be like oh let me check some other colors no let me look at more browns and this one was the same one that I kept coming back to so it just had to be on there and then I did a nail it with me to kind of force myself to wear it and see how I like it and it was really really pretty so I don't know I've never tried the breathable line either um and so I, this is the first breath breathable orly that I had tried and I like it. It's cute. The polish was nice. The formula was nice. Great for fall. Moving into my my first and only Dimension Nails for this season, which is crazy. This is Bobcat. And it's one of those orangey brown kind of camel colors. Again, one of those colors that I just feel like is sophisticated and I feel like it's a little bit off. So you're kind of like, is that pretty? And then you have to decide that it is because it's freaking beautiful. But it's just very fall very autumn how like what how can you not think that this is just autumn in a bottle i love it i think it's beautiful i would love like a big cozy sweater kind of in this color probably the only brown in this whole kind of swatch wheel that's like a true brown is china glaze loves you a latte again from one of their most recent collections it's just a really good milk chocolate brown it's a stunning stunning color even though I'm not always drawn to just a straight brown manicure, I feel like I need them in my collection because they um, they give a different look, a different feeling. It's it's similar to like wearing a black, but not you, you go brown, so you like take it back a step. I don't know if any of my polished feelings are coming through in this video, but it's like a black, but it's like a little more reserved, and so. It feels like it's a sophistication because I didn't go all the way to this super, super deep color, but either way, it's a pretty brown. <laughs> Woo! Last but not least is another Terra Beauty. This is number three. This is a gray that has, I feel like a hint of blue in it. It's like a bluish gray. I feel like I can't go through fall without having a gray. I feel like it's a a time where you need that with all of the other colors that you're wearing gray really kind of settles everything and gray is like one of my favorite kind of comfort colors in all aspects of my life if something comes in gray I pretty much own it um so yeah I needed a gray for my swatch wheel and this one is just really really stunning it's a really pretty polish and I don't know I think it's just beautiful and it's different from all my other grays by having just a little hint of blue but still being a very clear gray polish. Okay, so that is everything from my swatch wheel for fall 2021. Um, I should have had swatches up here. I'm pretty sure I have swatches of almost all of these. I'm going to go through and take a look and just make sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just think they're all stunning and they're beautiful. And I'm very excited to have this. I think this might be one of my favorite overall kind of like compilations. And I wanted to go with all creams just to kind of do like, I don't know. I just, I was just feeling it. I just, I went with all creams and I was like, I feel really good and solid about this situation. Um, I do want to say I'm going to be doing something new for the foreseeable future, I guess. Usually I make these and then I just kind of look at it. I do this video and then they pop up on my wall. 
And I do try to wear these colors and I, I feel more fall inclined to wear the colors, but I don't make it a focus to specifically only wear these colors. And I don't know why it never occurred to me to make it a focus to wear all of these because that was kind of the point of like a seasonal swatch wheel was to have something more than just pretty polish all together next to each other. So I'm going to start tracking what I wear for the um, respective months of each season. And then I will do a kind of what I wore based off of this at the end of the season. I will say that I usually post this video about a month before now, so I'm a month behind. Um, but I'm still gonna try to wear as many as I can and then we will kind of really start this off for the winter season and I will see how many of those I wear for the three months I do, December, January, and February. So I'm only really tracking what I'm wearing for October and November from this, so I missed out on a whole month. So. Yes, but that'll be like a new series where I can show you and do a kind of like a bring back to this video where I am just kind of sharing what I actually wore from this and how I felt about them and all of those things. So that is what I will be doing at the end of probably November, maybe early December. That'll be one of my kind of what I wore videos. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the polishes. Please let me know what you're wearing or pulling for fall because I'm like fall polishes speak to my soul and I feel like every time we get around to fall I forget and then I just look at how cozy and like loving this swatch wheel is and it brings so much joy to me. So recommendations for fall polishes. I'm always about them. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one and thank you so much for watching.